Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to talk about the method of separation of variables. So let us see first of all the important applications of this. So the method of separation of variables is used to solve the equations like wave equation. Do you remember what is wave equation? Yes, del 2y by del t square is equal to c square del 2x by del t square. Is it? So let me use uh, del 2z, del 2y by del t square. Then uh, uh, this wave equation which occurs in the problem of uh, vibration of string. This method is also uh, has an application in solving one dimensional heat equation that is uh, del u by del t is equal to del u by del t is equal to c square del 2u by del x square. Okay. This is a one dimensional uh, heat flow equation and this uh, uh, equation occurs uh, in the conduction of heat flow along a bar. Okay. Uh, it is also having an application in solving the uh, solving the Laplace equation in two dimension, which is uh, del 2u by del x square plus del 2u by del y square is equal to zero. And this occurs in the in the conduction of heat flow uh, on a plate. Okay, in a plate in a steady state motion. Okay. These are the applications. Uh, this uh, method of separation of variable have uh, more applications in like telegraph equations, in radio equations. So there are numerous uh, applications uh, we have for this uh, uh, where the method of separation of variables is used. Okay. So such type of equations we have to solve under this topic. So let us see first of all the very first example on this uh, which is this. <clears throat> the problem is solve the equation this using the method of we are using the method of separation of variables okay so how to approach such type of problem so as I said uh, as I said uh, you, sh you should always start with the given thing so what is given to us we are given a PDE given PDE is what is it x square del 2z by del x del y plus 3y square z is equal to 0 okay now we have to find out its solution okay so say this is to be equation number one and here we can propose that let z is equal to x y be the solution of this equation one be the solution of equation 1. Now you may be wondering what is this x and y? This x where x is a function of x and y is a function of y. Okay, so we can certainly think of the dependent and independentness of x and y. So obviously here x and y both are independent variables. Okay, so say this is to be equation 2. Now what is our objective? Our objective is to get the uh, function capital X and capital Y and substitute in this equation number 2. That would be our final solution. Okay, so uh, what we need to do is we have Z. What we want? We want del 2Z by del X del Y. So we have Z. So I can here write differentiating partially obviously we are learning partial differential equation so differentiating partially with respect to x we get so when we differentiate with respect to x what we get del z by del x is equal to x dash y as these are independent so whenever i am taking derivative with respect to x the other one will be treated as constant okay but we want del 2z by del x del y. So again differentiating partially 
with respect to now y v gate so when we differentiate this uh, this equation differentiate this partial with respect to so what is it del del y of del z by del y is equal to what is it is equal to now i am differentiating with respect to i am differentiating with respect to y so term of x dash is treated as constant and derivative of y dash y with respect to y is y dash and i will write it as del to z by del x del y okay now you got these values so you can just substitute in equation number 1 So I can write here equation one becomes equation one becomes what we have small x square as it is and what is the value of this del to z by del x del y is x dash y dash plus three y square and what is this z this z is capital x y is equal to zero clear now. What we have to do is separate the variables and try to get independent solution for x and independent solution for y. This is like x square x dash y dash yeah is equal to minus three y square x y okay just taking this to the right now just take the terms of x on the one side and the term of y on the other side so this is x dash upon x. Is equal to minus three y square y upon y dash. Okay. See the notations to avoid confusion. I am writing it as y square and capital y. Okay. So these notations are very important here. Write precisely because capital y is a function of y and capital x is a function of x. Okay. Now as we have seen that uh, this. X is a function of x and y is a function of y. So you can just write one sentence. Since x and y are are independent variables, are independent variables, are independent variables, then each side, then each side of Each side of this equation, say this is to be equation number three, then each side of equation three can be equated to some constant is equal to equal to some constant. Say k. Okay, so meaning thereby. X square into x dash upon x is equal to minus three y square into y upon y dash is equal to k. Okay, so just uh, take this is equal to k, this equal to k. Okay, so I'm writing here it as x square into x dash upon x is equal to k and Minus three y square into y upon y dash is equal to k. Okay. Okay. So now you can take it to here. So this is uh, x dash upon x is equal to k by x square. And what about this? This is I will write this in terms of y. So y dash upon y. Y dash upon y is equal to minus three y square by k. Okay. Now, as you can see, the variables are separated, so you can just integrate. So I am writing here for common. On integrating, 
on integrating we get so what is it integration of derivative upon function so this is like integration of f dash of x upon f of x which is log of x k is constant what is integration of 1 by x 1 by x square minus 1 by x plus log a okay so let me solve this first and then I will take it to the left so this is log of x by a or if you want I can write log x minus log a is equal to minus k by x okay so let me solve it further So I will be getting log a minus log b is log of a by b that is log of x by a minus k by x. Therefore, removing the log by taking exponentiation, I will be getting x by a is equal to e to the power minus k by x. So I can take this x to here and I got the first independent solution that is this. Now continuing solving this. Uh, this is y dash upon y this so when you apply integration so this is log y is equal to minus 3 by k what is integration of y square y cube by 3 plus log okay so you can take this as log y minus log b is equal to minus y cube by k so this is this is log of y by b is equal to minus y cube by k so y is equal to b e to the power minus y cube by k this is my second independent solution okay so i got the solution uh, x and y now I can substitute this solution to equation number 2 to get the solution of the given equation. Okay. So on putting on putting these values these values in equation 2 we get what is equation 2? Z is equal to xy. So z is equal to what is x a into e to the power minus kx into b into e to the power minus y cube by k okay that is now what is this a constant what is this b another constant so what we can do what we can do yes we can just uh, constant to constant is constant so I am going to denote it by z is equal to a into here also the bases are same and dices will add so this is e to the power minus k by x plus y cube by k here you can write where this capital A is product of constant A into B ok that's it so you can write like uh, this is the required solution this is the required solution okay so in the next class uh, what we are going to do is we are going to take problems where some initial conditions will be given to you and with the help of that you have to find out these constants constants like this you have to find out this and these constants okay so in the next in the very next learning video we are going to take such problems okay so thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day